One of the things that this peak talks about is how to identify upper and lowercase letters. Now class, it is not hard to identify an upper and lowercase letter. And if you have any problems doing so, you can just ask me or the student mentor that is in the classroom with us. Don't worry, I will be able to teach you what you need to know for this class. But the first thing that we will learn in this class is how and why we need to identify upper and lowercase letters and why it pertains to reading in this classroom. I know at the end of this, y'all will be very smart kindergartners and y'all will be ready to become first graders at the end of this class. This right here is an uppercase A. To write an uppercase A, you put your pencil at the top of the line, go down the left side and down the right side and through the middle. Or if you want to, you can go down the right side, down the left side and through the middle. And once you are done, you will see that you have an uppercase A. But the fun part begins when we get to the lowercase a. Don't worry, even though they don't look the same, they're still the same letter. That is why it's called a lowercase letter. So you can understand the difference between uppercase and lowercase. This goes for all letters, not just a. This is a lowercase a. Notice that it's different from uppercase A. You start in the middle of the line, go under, and then up like a stick, and then over to close it like you would a car hood, or you would to make a hole with your hands. It's just that easy. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Making letters is easy. Now, our next thing that we're going to learn about is reading a book correctly. If you see the lady in the picture, you see that her hands are on both sides of the page and that both of her hands are there and not just one. And if you see that she is looking at the book right side up instead of upside down, you will know that she is able to read the book correctly instead of having to guess what the book says. Now you don't want to do that because you want to know what the book says because you will learn to love to read, or at least I hope you do, because I love reading. To turn a page correctly, you get your thumb finger and your index finger, and you put it on the top right side of the page, and you turn ever so slowly so you don't rip the page, because you want, like I said, to be able to read what is going on on the page. And if you read the page, you won't be able to know what's going on, and neither will the person that's trying to read it after you. So remember, turn carefully. To read a book, you need to read it from left to right, not right to left, because if you read from right to left, you won't be able to read what is really going on. So get your pointer finger and guide, have it guide you um, through the words on the page. Therefore, you will not lose where you are going when you are trying to read through your awesome adventure in the book that you are reading. Happy reading, guys! I hope you enjoy, because I sure love reading. Become a star. Be a reader. Because every reader becomes a star. You don't get anywhere unless you learn to read. Love reading.